What's up YouTube, this is Jacob with Veteran Pro Wash. In this video, we will be giving you a walk around of our updated trailer build. If you haven't checked out our original trailer build from whenever we first got started, that video will be linked in the description below. So be sure that you check that out if you're looking to build your first self wash system, if you're on a budget, if you're like we were whenever we were first starting and we didn't have much money to spend. But before we get into our current build you're about to see, I wanna let you know that this build has been on the road for us now for almost a year and has a good bit of hours on it already. So everything on it does have some wear and tear, but we haven't had to make any major changes to this build or replace any major parts since we upgraded it. We just make sure that we stay on top of all of our maintenance. So be sure you stick around to find out how and why our current trailer build is now called our breadwinner build and why we think upgrading this trailer was one of the best investments for our company in the past year. Before we get into this build though, if you're looking to start a pressure washing business but you aren't sure what chemicals to use, the proper mixing ratios for these chemicals, or how to clean any and all surfaces on a residential job site, the best way to ensure property protection, or how to set your equipment up to ensure an easy workflow on each and every job, then go check out the How to Wash course built out with over 50 years of experience. It'll be linked in the description below this video. We've got a trailer build video for y'all today. We've got some things that we updated from the first build, from our original budget build. Kill, you want to tell us a little bit about what we've changed on it? Yeah, so last time we were running two big tanks and we were batch mixing. We had a roof wash mix in one, house wash in the other. Kind of got confusing because when you run down your chemical, you're adding chemical, you don't know your strength all the way. So we decided we stripped down the trailer completely when we caught a little break in the off season. Um, redid all the boards, painted everything, bedlined everything. It's getting in worse shape than it was when we first got it back on the road. Uh, we're going to do some touch-ups here shortly or buy a new trailer. But uh, we went ahead and swapped out the tanks, put a 225-gallon water tank and a 65-gallon bleach tank. So we're not batch mixing anymore. We're running a blend manifold. Uh, we did go ahead and stay true to our word and add the 8-gallon. Everybody was out of Hondas, so we went to uh, online and found Manatee Pressure Wash down in Florida. And they had this new CRX they were rolling out. I spoke with them for a couple hours on the phone, going through everything. They said they've tried to kill it, and they couldn't. They haven't had any issues with it, and neither, neither have we since we got it. It's been doing great. Get jobs done a lot quicker. And uh, plays a huge instrumental role in making thousands of dollars uh, a day, a week, a month, whatever it be. Normally, we run the trailer on most of our commercial or industrial jobs. We're able to run the truck on most of our residential jobs. We are still running the single axle, which uh, we do drain our tank when we're on the road, so it's not as heavy. That's another perk to having just a water tank because we have our filter. We can drain everything, dump our water, get the load off, and uh, not bend anything, tear up any bearings or anything like that. Still got the A-frame ladder on here. Uh, we normally have our extension ladders, which are on the truck. So... Uh, we haven't put any racks or anything on this because we don't know if we're going to keep this trailer. And like Jacob said, we're on a lot of commercial jobs with this and we have the truck on those jobs as well. Still got the surface cleaner. Whenever it comes to buying tanks, if y'all are struggling finding the tanks, and I know they're expensive brand new, go on Facebook Marketplace. That 250 gallon tank we found on Facebook Marketplace for I think it was, what, 200 bucks? 300 bucks. 300 bucks. I mean, it might yeah. take a little time searching and stuff, but you'll find the right deals every now and then. So that tank was $300 and we bought the 65 gallon tank brand new for around the same price. I think it was 365. So normally this tank, especially with inflation now, it's like 14 to 1600 bucks. So uh, just shop around your area and see what people have on Facebook for a couple weeks. And But we are still running same feed hose, 100 foot. We're probably gonna put another 100 foot on here so we can eliminate this uh, junk box we got back here. Got a little room. Uh, we went ahead and last time we had hose reels on two separate sides of the trailer. We were having to cross and everything. So went ahead and welded up this bracket with some legs coming off for support and put our hose reels on this side. We did leave a little room in between because we were going to add a second eight gallon and a second hose reel. We never did. We're running pretty efficiently with this. We run both setups. We can run run two people at a time uh, we're still running our same soft wash hose with a new hose reel that we put on here and we ended up taking everything out of the box that y'all saw last time that was basically out of the weather 
run our battery box with our 12 volt and a Midwest Hydro Mixer. Um, we did run a regular, I don't, I don't know where it was from, it was a GF valve uh, blend manifold and we had a couple issues with it so we went ahead and just picked up this one. It was already mounted on a plate so we can mount the whole thing at once uh, and this thing works great. It proportions everything out perfectly. We haven't had any issues with it and it's very easy to work on when it comes to troubleshooting. We have our Titan hose reel with our 200 foot of pressure hose. And the pressure hose that we have been getting lately has been pretty bad. It blows. We've blown a couple hoses and they should not blow with the burst pressure that they're rated for. But we have blown quite a few of them. <sighs> but they're starting, uh, they made some changes with their manufacturing and their distribution, who we buy them from. So we got a little bit better hose going. Yeah, and we're able to run the 4,000 PSI hose with the 8. It was only 3,500 PSI with the last pressure washer we had on here, which was the Simpson 4,000 PSI from Lowe's. We were running 6,000 PSI hose. Yeah, generally with an eight, you, they like you to run the first 50 foot half inch and then swap over to three eighth inch. We haven't done it and we haven't had any issues yet. Fingers crossed that we don't. Nice but if, job. It, <laughs> if it comes down to it, then uh. We'll have to put that first 50 foot as a half inch hose and then reduce down to 3 8 inch. All right, we have our tank, our six gallon fuel tank, and we can normally run for, I don't know, about five to six hours on a tank of fuel. It's very fuel efficient, pressure washer is. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up our update build. Reach out to us if you have any questions on you know builds and what to do, what not to do. Kind of eliminate the idiocracy when you start yeah and also if you haven't done so yet go go check out the link in the description to our email any questions concerns complaints we know we've been doing a bad job on youtube y'all been letting us know in some of them comments but go ask us questions tell us y'all concerns and we're going to do some review videos on those comments later yeah.